how to check pressure and recharge accumulators BNW S46ME dust B. Before we start, safety precautions to be observed before checking and charging of accumulators. Stop the engine. Shut off starting air supply at air reservoir. Block the main engine valve. Shut off starting air distributor. Shut off control air supply. Engage turning gear. Stop lubricating oil supply. And shut down hydraulic power supply. Before we start checking, the charging pressure of the accumulators is 13.6 MPa at 20 degrees Celsius. But depending on the temperature of the accumulators, please refer to the table as per manual for the charging of the accumulators. First, we are going to check the accumulator and hydraulic cylinder unit. Remove the flange cover of the accumulator. Close the high pressure inlet valve 420 and open high pressure valve 421 to drain all oil out of the hydraulic cylinder unit. Remove the Minimes cup. Mount the pressure gauge connected with the Minimes hose on the accumulator at 0.455. Check the pressure and it's 7.42 MPa which is lower than the regular pressure in the table. Repeat the same procedures to the rest of the accumulators on the hydraulic cylinder unit. After checking the pressure of hydraulic cylinder unit, we will also check the accumulator on hydraulic power supply unit. Remove the Minimes cap. Open the valve 315 to release the hydraulic pressure from the system and drain all oil out of the accumulator. Mount the pressure gauge connected with the Minimes hose to 0 0.340. Check the pressure and it is also 7.42 MPa, which is lower to the regular pressure in the table. After checking all accumulators and the pressures are lower compared to the adjustment table and depending on the temperature of the accumulator, you can now perform the charging of the accumulators. The gas that we are going to use is nitrogen. Using the reducing valve as pressure setting tool, assemble the reducing valve and mount it on the nitrogen cylinder. Before mounting the filling hose on the accumulator, make it sure that the accumulator top is clean. Check the valve A and D are closed. Mount the filling hose on the accumulator point E. In this accumulator, charging tool is not necessary. Open valve A and adjust the outlet pressure in the spindle B to 0.1 to 0.2 MPa above the pressure stated in the pressure adjusting table. Keep the valve A open until the accumulator is filled. Then close valve A and wait for 5 minutes for the temperature of the accumulator stabilizes. Check the pressure of the accumulator in gauge C according to the pressure adjusting table. If the charging pressure is more, adjust the pressure in the accumulator at bleed screw D. If the accumulator pressure is a regular value in the table, and depending on the temperature of the accumulator, charging is completed. Put back the following valves 420, 421, and 315 to normal position. And that's all for our pressure checking and charging of accumulators. I hope this video helps you in a little way. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let us keep safe always and God bless us all.